Aloha everyone, I'm meteorologist Malika Dudley with your tropical system update for August 11. As of the 8 a.m. Central Pacific Hurricane Center update, Hilda has maximum sustained winds at 75 miles per hour, is now barely holding on to Category 1 hurricane status. The system is weakening and expected to become a tropical storm today after it dips below that 75 mile per hour mark. On satellite, Hilda looks a little more ragged and you can actually see how strong westerly winds are beginning to slowly shred it apart. The models are having a hard time with regard to Hilda's track and intensity. That's why it's changed so much over the last 48 hours. This system in particular, you have to look at the strength of the storm together with the track. The stronger the system is, the deeper and taller it is, so the steering winds go through a much deeper part of the atmosphere, and that could lead to the system moving northward. The weaker and shallower it is, the more likely trade winds will be the steering mechanism, and that would bring the system westward. So because of this uncertainty on that front, a tropical storm watch was issued early this morning by the National Weather Service for the Big Island. The storm is now located 295 miles southeast of Hilo. It's moving very slowly northwest near seven miles per hour and this general motion is expected to continue into Thursday. Hurricane force winds extend 25 miles from the center and tropical storm force winds extend up to 70 miles from the center. And although Hilda is a really small compact tropical cyclone, the low-level moisture fields surrounding it is pretty expansive. So that means the Big Island, possibly Maui, could see an incre increase in shower activity even when Hilda is several hundred miles away. In fact, we could start to see moisture on the edge of the system begin to affect the Big Island as early as today. Total rainfall projections are currently between 6 to 12 inches with possible maximum totals up to a foot and a half. Very heavy rain is expected to arrive Thursday and continue into Friday. This type of rain can cause flash flooding and mudslides. Those projections are for the Big Island. Also for the Big Island, if the latest track and intensity remains true, the forecast calls for a 16 to 29 percent chance of tropical storm force winds on the Big Island. That means portions of the island could see 39 mile per hour or more um, with those winds Thursday morning into Thursday afternoon. A high surf warning is posted for the Big Island, a high surf advisory is up for Maui, and all islands could see an increase in showers and the possibility of heavy rain as early as Wednesday night. Of course, this is all dependent on the exact track and intensity Hilda has when it approaches the islands, so our weather team will continue to keep an eye on the situation and bring you the latest. Make sure to be prepared.